Hello there. So today I'm going to be showing you the simplest way that I have found for students to record a podcast and publish it for you to see um, in an easy way. So what we're looking at right now are some examples that are within the podcast curriculum that I've shared with you. And also you have a template that allows you to have students do these same types of assignments that you're seeing here um, in many of the curriculum sets. So Basically, you will see this um, spot for students to put in their cover image in your template. And it says introducing a new podcast. And then on the next page, it shows a little phone and they can put in their um, cover image again and describe their show. And so what this basically looks like is the inside of a phone when you're listening to a podcast. You get to see the show description, you get to see the next few episodes, you see the cover image, and you see this little play button. If I click this play button, I'm actually gonna hear the very brief example that I have recorded here. So now I'm gonna show you how to help your students do that. It's very simple. I walk them through the steps of doing it in the curriculum set, but I thought it would be nice for you to see it. So you're going to open an online tool called Vocaroo. It's a free tool. It's extremely simple. That's why I love it. You wouldn't have to use Vocaroo. Students could just record their voices on their phone. But Vocaroo makes it so easy, and it can be the same for every kid. So that's why I wanted to show it to you. You go into Vocaroo. You press this record button. Hi, this is my podcast. I am recording a short clip just as an example. Then I press the stop button. That's all it takes. I've now recorded my podcast. Obviously, students will have to do quite a bit more prep. They'll have to have a script. They'll have to have their music ready to go on another device. Um, any sound effects they want to use, they'll need to practice um, and sort of put it all together. It's not perfect. They could certainly use a more complicated editing tool like GarageBand or Audacity, but it's really simple, and I think that makes it a good starting point. So once I record, I'm going to click Save and Share. And then I'm going to download it. It's going to pop up here in a little bubble at the bottom of my screen, which I am going to drag to my desktop. There's my Vocaroo. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, and this is what a student would do. And they would click New, and they're going to upload a file, and it's going to be that Vocaroo. They need the sound file of their podcast to be in their Google Drive so that they can link it. Um, in their final work. So now if I wanted to insert audio on this page, which is what students will be doing, I go to insert, I go to audio, and I'm going to see that Vocaroo that I just recorded. And so will they. So I can double click it. It says creating audio, and it's going to show me this is my little audio. And if I drag it, I can make it bigger. I can move it around. I would put it right there, except I already have an example in this one. But that's that's all it takes. And then you press play. Hi, this is my podcast. I am recording a short clip just as an example. And you can hear their podcast. So I hope you see this is going to be really simple for you and your students. You can show them this video, or you can show it to them themselves. Um, yourself, or you can just have them follow through the instructions that are in the curriculum. It's really, it's three steps. They record the Vocaroo, they download it, they put it in their Google Drive, and then they can access it to insert it as audio in any Google slide.